Okay, what I'd like to do uh, for a few minutes is talk to you about the geography as well as uh, talk to you a little bit about the fishery here at El Pescador. Um, first of all, just to get you oriented, we flew into Belize City uh, from your international destination. Um, took your tropic air flight to the northeast to San Pedro. And then your short boat ride up to El Pescador is about two miles north on the eastern shore of Ambergris Cay. To the east, um, if you look out on the horizon, we've got the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef that stretches all the way from Isla Mujeres up in Mexico all the way down through Honduras. It's one of the primary reasons that we have such a prolific fishery here uh, in, in Belize. It uh, provides uh, migrating routes for some of the large species that travel up and down the coast, as well as keeps uh, some of the smaller fish uh, resident in the area. We fish uh, approximately 440 square miles of uh, fishable water here. We try to concentrate in three primary areas. The first being kind of the nor northern tip of Ambergris Cay, which is the Boca La Chica National Park. It's a World Heritage Site and protected by the government of Belize. When guides take you up to the park, please have $5 in US or $10 Belize to access the park. Now, there is an entrance fee and the guides stop at the ranger station uh, to pay that fee when, when you're heading up there. Uh, the, the park is characterized by large mangrove forests and inner lagoons. Um, we typically have an easterly wind that comes off the ocean, and it's a great place to go to get protected and get out of the wind. There are large schools of bonefish there, um, schools of permit there as well, and usually on the ocean side of the park, uh, we'll see larger tarpon, uh, juvenile tarpon, that uh, show up there in the morning um, looking to feed on, on, on the sunrise. Moving to the west, uh, between Ambergris and, and the mainland, we have uh, a number of large flats that hold permit and tarpon. When the guides spot permit, um, they typically ask the anglers to exit the boat, get on the flat, and get a lot more stealthy so we can get casts onto the fish and intersect them on the flats. There are so also uh, juvenile tarpon out on those flats as well. Going all the way across to the mainland, which is about a 12 mile run, um, there are many lagoons. Uh, it's kind of the nursery for the area here in, in Ambergris. Um, bonefish, snook. Um, we see large jacks along the coast as well, uh, congregating around many of the, the large rock formations. Um, and it's a really you know, great opportunity to catch uh, jacks on, on, on fly rods. Um, moving south, we have Savannah Flat, uh, a real weightable flat, an area where you might want to you know, start out as a novice going to, to, to fly fish for bonefish. It's real weightable, real clear, and uh, uh, you're able to kind of practice uh, on, on bone, large schools of bonefish out there. And then moving even further south into the Hicks Key area, Long Key. Um, this area, particularly during uh, the, the, the summer months of the year, holds very large tarpon in the range of uh, 80 to 120 pounds. Um, we, we fish them typically on the flats, but there are also deeper channels where the guides will switch over to intermediate lines. Um, this is a real, you know, you know a prolific fishery in terms of uh, getting those large tarpon that come in here every year. Ambergris and the, and the area that we fish is very unique in that it's one of the few places in the world where there are plentiful bonefish permit and, and, and tarpon all year round and it is the premier destination for our target species.